of COVID-19 cases here in the Bay Area is continuing to impact our schools. Some moving forward with virtual learning while others are sticking with in-person instruction. Now there's a petition out in Dublin to get the school district there to go remote or delay the return to school. Crown Force Camila Barco joining us live in San Francisco with the details over there in Dublin. Camila. Yeah, so Noel, more than 1,800 people have signed this petition, and I just checked more people keep signing this throughout the morning. It's asking the Dublin Unified School District to, like you said, either go virtual or uh, delay its opening as students return for uh, return from winter break. Now take a look at your screen. This is the petition. The organizer or the creator of this petition states that students shouldn't go back to school right now because of the rise in COVID cases. A lot of parents uh, said that they have concerns about their child going back to school and contracting the virus. Now students in the Dublin Unified School District are expected to go back to the classroom tomorrow. The school district a few days ago passed out dozens of at-home COVID test kits to families of students and they are supposed to test themselves sometime today or tomorrow morning before going to school. They want to avoid having a student who is positive return to campus and prevent a COVID-19 outbreak. However, the school district has said nothing about delaying its opening or going virtual. Cron4 has reported that school districts like Milpitas and Hayward are going virtual or have been placed on a district-wide quarantine. Now, teachers in Oakland and San Francisco have um, had massive sick outs last week to protest uh, those COVID safety measures. However, at this time, none of those districts have decided to move forward with remote learning. Now, Noel, there's been, like I said, no mention from the Dublin Unified School District if they are going to go virtual or delay their school opening as kids return from winter break, but that may change with this petition going around. We'll just have to see if the school district is either aware of this or if they have any plans to uh, go virtual or delay their opening. Of course, we'll keep you updated online and on air. For now, back to you. All right, Camila, thank you for that live report.